hey guys and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title today i'm going to be doing my uh retro style smash book flip through i got have you guys on my desk it is so junky so pay no mind to all this right here i've just been prepping some stuff for some pen pals and it's a mess so anyway let me get into this this is everything from 2015 in here so let's start by going through it just a little side note the way I smash book is so crazy. It's not perfect. It's sometimes messy. It's crazy. It's just my style. I take it as the name smash. I smash things in there. But I wanted to give you guys a flip through of it because I mentioned it on my um, main channel before how I was going to do a flip through. So here it is. It is the retro style. What is actually the right here, the blue binder. I just put this on this tape on here. It's the blue one. And I put this tape on here myself. So we're going to start opening up. Right here, I was just, well, you can see, I was just playing around with some um, scented pens one day. And I was like, oh, I'm going to just scribble in here and put them in there. Oh, it's not out of breath, don't I? So, here we go. This is just some duct tape that my daughter had. And I just took a, um, two pieces of it and stuck it on here on my first page. So when you open up right here, here's a few samples of some of my watchy tape that I have. And I actually don't even have a couple of these anymore because I've actually ran out. So here's this page. This page right here, I like this so much. The hello, why don't you sit? Why don't you pull up a chair? I love this so much. I didn't want to put anything over it. So I kept this page. So I kept this page just the way it was because I liked it so much. The next page, we have my Wendy's page. When I tell you guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants. I don't even eat there that often, but when I do, I usually order the same thing. So on this receipt, you will see that I have ordered my salad and some nuggets. That's what I get all the time, the salad, spice chicken nuggets, and chop them up in there. I know I can get like the salad with the chicken in there, but I just don't. So I did that, and if you flip up over here, I have a little journaling over it. And I have a little sticker of some chicken nuggets, the paper, and the straw, and the receipts. I don't know why I sound out of breath. Like, for real, this is just crazy. <laughs> the next page is, is my All About Me page with all my different nicknames that I go by right here, which is Retro Pinky, Sweet Tea, Pinky Tea, Established 1984. And just a picture of me by the water with some different things of that I am, such as a mother, a daughter, blessed, beautiful, smart, all that type of stuff. So that is on this page. The next page I also kept, but I tied it into this page. You can see it says Cheap Thrills and, and I wrote Fun Feel. And this is all the things that I like to do that are free or cheap, just when I really don't feel like spending a lot of money. So like Netflix, me and the kids have a camp out. We have craft day, we theme parties, watch YouTube, video games, getting in the pool. Of course, when the weather prevent, permits, not permits, permits. So that's this page. I just put a couple of these um, little lizard stickers that I had to tie the pink together. This page is all about guilty pleasures. And this is some of my guilty pleasures that actually has changed since I did this page. Which is the macadamia nut cookies. Oh my goodness. White chocolate macadamia nut cookies are delicious. So I have that. These hot and honey cheese chips. Which I cannot find anymore. My store will not restock these chips. That so sucks. Uh, cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. Um, some chips. Donuts. I love the bakery. Even though I'm on a healthy living tip right now, so I don't really get to the bakery that often anymore. I've kind of avoided it, but it is good to flip through the book and be like, yes. <laughs> this is the You Betcha page. So on here, I just wrote a few of uh, little quotes, funny quotes, serious quotes and stuff like that. Like, be with someone who ruins your lipstick, not your mascara. That's the, I liked it, that one. Um, broken crayon, still color. And this is more of a fun one. It's all sh it's all shots and giggle until some money giggles and shits. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a couple mix-up ones on here to make you laugh. Some of that serious that I put on this page. I hope I'm not going too fast because I want to try to fit this all in into one video without having to break it apart. This right here is my twin was my is my 2016 bucket list. So if you see, you can pull these little tabs out and. You can see different things on the tab, which I don't know which which one is which. So there's a couple parcels and things on here, so I'm not really going to show you one. So, but that's what they they are. So you just have little tabs that I made. Okay. The next page, I don't even know really why I did this page. I was like, why not? I like the cute cereal boxes, so I just did this and did you know a little journaling about 
the cereals that I do like on here. Nothing too special about this page. And I did write Got Milk with a little cow sticker. On this page is all about my puppy Penny. So I did a Penny picture of her right here with some other pictures of dogs. A sticker that I made my sticker maker. And you just open this like this. And I did some journaling about Penny. Right here is all about my kids. So and I did some journaling right here. You can flip them up this way. So, yes, I did that. Right here is all about minions. I love minions so much. And they're like, why do you have one page of kids with two pages of minions? Actually, because I didn't think I had this many minion stickers and find so much minion stuff. And my kids like, oh, mommy, look, here's something else minion you should put on the page. So, it ended up being a two-page spread. But, yes, we have my favorite minion, Kevin, here. We have a, a sticker that I made from a piece I cut out the newspaper. My son actually gave me this Valentine's Day card. Actually, this year, it wasn't in 2015, but I just stuck it in here because it went with it, and he gave it to me. And it just had some minion stickers on the back. So, yes, we love minions in this house, and I think I kind of love them a little bit more than the kids. This page right here is from my daughter's... um winter wonderland program that she did at school so i just have the program from it right here and i have another program if i can lift it up i remember which way to lift it up right here so yes that's that page right here i have some pictures when they have breakfast with santa and i also have the candy that we actually got from there and i just did some journaling on the back of these put a little um paper on there and glued them down and did some journaling and it matched perfectly. So I was like, okay, I got to do that. So here's the pictures from that. And I just put some little presents on the page. Okay. This next page is all about the last stores that I actually shopped at be at the end of the year. Like literally, these are the last stores that I went to in December. So I just decided to keep the receipts. This picture is all about my love of old school music from Motown. I am from Michigan, so I'm a big Motown fan. Um, here's a couple of CDs, The Spinners and Luther Vandross right here. And if you open this up, you actually have the lyrics to Gladys Knight and the Pips Midnight Train to Georgia, along with The Temptations, I Know I'm Losing You. You have to have lyrics right here. And I meant to write something else right here, but I didn't. But I'll probably go in and write some more lyrics. Okay, on this page, we have our Christmas. As you can see, it's not in order at all. I just kind of get a feel for the page. If I like the design of the page, I just I just go with it. So, you have our Christmas right here. We have a couple pictures that flip up this way on this page. And I think we have one flip up right here just that just reveals some of the wrapping paper that I use. So, that was our 2015 Christmas. And I have to take this down because it's actually lifting up. Right here, we have a little hidden page that I did. And when you open it up, there's pictures right here, right there, like that, of me and my love. So that's the picture. And under here, we have a little quote that says, you made me happy when skies are gray. That's our whole thing to our relationship that we do. Right here is just a picture from my daughter's graduation, right here. Um, pictures right there. You see, I'm covering this up because it actually has the address of the school, even though she doesn't go there anymore. So, you just have some pictures from that. On this page right here, this is the first year we actually decided to do a gingerbread house. So, I have a picture of the gingerbread house right here, and I just did some journaling about our experience. This is our Christmas tree, and this is just um, a, a sticker that I got that I actually made from cutting out a piece out of a newspaper along with this one, and just a bowl that we have part of the decorations. There's nothing on this page. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this page, but I really did like the little quote. You know exactly what these boots were made for. So I was like, you know what? And it's pink and I like it. So I'll figure it out and keep it blank. This is another page I liked it. So I kept the knock knock who's there. And none of these jokes actually finished, but I thought it was catchy. So I kept it. This is some of my favorite shows that I love, which are Law & Order SVU, The Originals, Criminal Minds, and American Horror Story, which I need to catch up on both of these shows right here. And yes, so mad that Shamar Moore is not on Criminal Minds no more. I just, I'm just, oh, I'm just so ready to give up on the show for a while until he comes back. <laughs> so yes, this page right here was that this horse. I like this little face so much, and I really want to go horseback riding. So I just kept this page and wrote a couple things that make me smile right here on this page. Okay, this page is full. I made 
this page didn't come out this. This page is um out of a piece of a paper pad that I had. I just made all the emojis on here. Hence my favorite emoji is right here. And move this paper clip off. This page right here is just full of notes that my kids actually had wrote me. I got really sick at the end of the year. So my kids just doodled and drew some stuff and everybody wrote me some notes on like little scrap pieces of paper. So I tucked them in there so I can keep them. And then this is just my end of the year little letter that I wrote to myself. Okay, this page actually ties into another page. But um, it says that was then. So this is me when I was younger. And I did some little doodling under here. This is actually the card that came, you know, when you're born in the hospital, they put on there. That's this card. And I have some pictures of me when I was younger. And like I said, it does tie into another page, which I'm going to show you because it's not right after, which I don't know why they didn't make it like that. This page is a few of my favorite movies, which is Scarface, Friday After Night, The Notebook, love this movie, Holiday Heart, and The Fifth Element. And this is just a random page. I was just testing out at first when I did this to see if I can actually make an insert. So I just did that. This right here is a picture when we went, well, pictures from when we went to Winter Blast. I hope you guys can see that. When we went to Winter Blast, so I have all these pictures right here. You probably can't see it that good because the book is getting kind of more thicker on this side. But some pictures when we went to Winter Blast right here. And then we had to get into the little Red Wings cutouts. And there's some crazy pictures. They had us taking like a little booth right here. So that's those pictures. And then I just have the date that we went right here. Okay, and here's the page I said ties into it, the, the, and this is now page. So this is a couple pictures of me at the age I am now, or like close to the age I am now, because these pictures are not too recent. So I just have these right here. Again, another page I just couldn't figure out what I want to do with it. I got, I know I have more 2015 pictures around, I just can't find them, so I did leave it blank, but I wanted to go ahead and film this book, because I'm already into the 2016 book. And it's getting filled, and I know I'm going to have multiple books for 2016. I will, have, I would have really had multiple books in 2015, but I didn't get this until towards the end of the year. So I just had to, you know, I just stuffed everything in one book that I could find because obviously I'm still missing pictures. This right here is not even from 2015. You can see it's 2009, but I found it and it was like something very important. This is my daughter's, my oldest daughter first, daddy daughter dance. I think she was like four on this picture. And I didn't want it to get messed up. I wanted to keep it. So I wanted to go ahead and put it in there. And it just opens up. And this is the program. And this is the picture of them. They dress the light in red and white. Okay, this is a picture from my son's graduation that took place on the 7th of 2015. His kindergarten graduation. And it's the program from that. And this right here, I hope it can fit in the picture. This is a page that I've made from halloween this year and it opens up let's see if it opens. can you guys see it there we go it opens all the way up like that and has a fold yep okay so that's that page and this is right here this is crazy it's so fun we were actually trick-or-treating somebody had it in their yard everybody was taking pictures in front of this giant um boo ghost so i said hey why not everybody else doing it? and i want the picture this right here is another empty page but like i said who knows what's going to happen to it and then we have this page right here is when we had oh sorry about the shaking when we did girls day with my best friend and her niece and we actually went on the riverboat cruise and we got on the boat and it actually took us right up under the ambassador bridge oh my goodness it was so like awing when we went under it was amazing and we were like literally that close where i was able to get a good picture like that of course i zoomed in a little bit but not by much if you could see in this picture let me bring it up closer not to turn it sideways but if you can see in this picture you see me standing to it on a boat taking a picture at the edge we were really really up under it like literally up under it and it was so amazing and then one of those big barges actually came by perfect timing and the guy, the actual um, captain of the boat, he was like, that's rare for that to happen. So it was amazing. And that is it besides this little blank page again. But that is it. That is everything my 2015 Smash Book. As you can see, it does get pretty thick. And that's another reason I thought, okay, maybe it's time for me to wrap this one up because it's super thick. When I got it, it actually came about, let's see, 
that thick and now with everything in there it's this thick so <clears throat> excuse me i don't know what's going on with my voice so thanks again for watching this video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel for more videos i'm going to try to post videos on crafting at least Two to three times a week, I do a lot of crafting, a lot of pen paling, so I will be trying to post as often as I can. And if you want to see what I'm, I post every day on my Instagram, so if you want to see what I'm doing my everyday craft life, whether I'm mailing out some pen pal letters or whatever, make sure you follow me on my crafting Instagram, which is underscore crafty chick. I'll be putting a link to that down below, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. You get to see a lot more of my crafting I'm doing, and plus we can get to know each other, and you never know, maybe be Instagram friends. And anyways, I will see you guys in my next video.